The story of Archangel Raphael and Tobias will show to you how Archangel Raphael helps those who follow him and trust in him. The story starts one afternoon when Tobias' father Tobit was dozing in the garden. It was said that warm droppings of a swallow's nest fell upon his eyes, which caused his eyes to get swollen with fever and turn red. His eyesight began fading and slowly turned Tobit blind. When Tobias' father became blind, he was forced to work for the family, but every penny was so hard to find, and the family became poorer and poorer. At some point, Tobit told Tobias about his old friend from Media in Persia, who owed him some money. He told Tobias to go to Media and fetch the money that will help the whole family get by. With this in mind, Tobias tried to look for a guide down the marketplace. He was looking for someone who could accompany him on a treacherous journey across the great deserts and high mountains. However, having heard that Tobias' father was blinded, the men were hesitant to accompany Tobias, thinking that they would get blinded as well. Tobias almost lost his heart looking for someone to go with him on this journey when he saw a man sitting by the village wall. The stranger was tall, with hair the color of gold, and when Tobias asked the stranger for his company, the stranger said, I am Raphael, and I will be your guide in this journey. So, the next day, Raphael, Tobias, his dog named Hera, set forth for Media. For days they walked through ancient paths, and by night they camped under the stars. It was late afternoon when one day they arrived at the bank of a wide and deep river, and they decided to cross it in the morning. As they crossed the dark waters of the river, with Raphael leading the way, Tobias grew afraid as the river grew deeper. As he treaded the waters with a mighty stick to help him keep balance, he suddenly felt something against his legs as though it was pushing him. He found himself flailing in the waters as he fell and screamed for help to Raphael, who just stood quietly and calmly watching him. As Tobias steadied himself, he saw a great fish coming at him with its mouth wide open. Raphael called to him, use your staff. Then, as hard as he could, Tobias hit the big fish with his walking stick and without thinking, he started dragging the fish to the other side of the river. When he recovered, he turned to Raphael and asked why he didn't help him, to which Raphael replied that there was no problem and that Tobias had only lost his balance. Raphael pointed as if to say that Tobias had it under control. When Tobias looked at the fish, he was astonished to see that it was just a normal-sized fish instead of the monstrous creature he thought he saw in the river. Raphael then gutted and cleaned the fish. He opened a small metal box he was carrying and put the fish's eyes and scales in, saying that they would need those. That same day, they finally arrived in Media. They found lodgings and Raphael immediately went to get the debt owed to Tobias's father. When Tobias was waiting for Raphael, he sat outside and met Sarah. They fell in love with each other. Tobias decided to stay in Media and woo Sarah, and Raphael stayed with him. After several months, Tobias wed Sarah. However, Sarah was afraid for Tobias' sake. She confessed to Raphael that Asmodeus, a terrifying demon, fell in love with her. Asmodeus had sworn that he would kill any man that Sarah would wed. In fact, six men were already dead after marrying Sarah. Raphael then told Sarah and Tobias what to do to fight the demon. 
he told them to burn the entrails of the fish that Tobias had caught. That night, with the moon rising high in the dark sky, Tobias and Sarah were alone in the father's house. The demon was pacing outside the door, breathing deep and slow, looking for a way in. Sarah and Tobias burned the entrails over a candle, filling the room with a strange smoke. The strong stink of fish escaping the room through the windows. When the demon sniffed at the stink, it froze and slowly it began to shrink. It shrank until it was nothing but dust. After many months, Tobias, Sarah, Raphael, and Hera returned to Nineveh. Tobit tried to welcome them, though he staggered about. Raphael whispered to Tobias, now you must use the fish's eyes. Sarah and Tobias made a thin paste from the fish's eyes that they thoroughly ground and rubbed into Tobit's eyes. Slowly, Tobit's eyes seemed to clear. The milky white substance that filmed it slowly faded. He can see again. And as he stared with clarity and sharpness in front of him, he saw Raphael, not as a stranger guide accompanying his son, but a man glowing in shimmering light. But when he blinked, Raphael was gone. This was the story of Archangel Raphael and Tobias. Archangel Raphael has always been considered as the patron saint of travelers, fishermen, and healers. This story shows that the sufferings we experience are tests we need to face. Those who believe will be shown help. Raphael didn't just guide Tobias through his journey and help him find the cure to his father's blindness. He also helped Sarah when she sought his help and confessed about the demon wreaking havoc in her life. This is a reminder to all of us that Archangel Raphael will accompany us in our journey of self-healing. His presence will bring us comfort and guidance. He will always be there to help us when we need him. Connecting with Archangel Raphael will help you let go of the pain and hurt you have been feeling for so long. Listen to his angelic music and be healed in every aspect of your life. Check out our other videos about Archangel Raphael. Thank you so much. Like, comment, and subscribe.